And tonight, President Trump declares the start of a new era for energy production, throwing out President Obama's protections against climate change. That is what this is all about, bringing back our jobs, bringing back our dreams, and making America wealthy again. The actions that President Trump has taken today represent the largest attack on climate action in our country's history. And here's a look at three things this order does. It asks agencies to identify regulations that might stand in the way of American energy independence. It rolls back recent protections for waterways, and it will eliminate a moratorium on leasing federal land to coal mining companies. The group Next Gen Climate says the order is, this is a quote, allowing corporate polluters to profit at our expense. And Colorado Governor John Hickenlooper says the president's order will not deter our state's effort toward renewable energy like wind and solar. Republican Congressman Ken Buck applauded the president's order, saying it will lower energy prices and create well-paying jobs throughout our state. So what do local coal miners and energy experts think? Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen joins us with that tonight. Jacqueline? Well, Colorado's coal industry has been struggling, and while they say this is a step in the right direction, energy analysts tell me the impact of Trump's executive order here is minimal. The end of Obama-era environmental regulations. Putting an end to the war on coal. May be felt first by the miners. More than 2,700 people are employed by coal in Colorado. We're not going to probably see as many mines close as quickly as they possibly could. Stan Dempsey with the Colorado Mining Association says undoing the 2015 Clean Power Plan and allowing new coal mines on federal lands not only saves mines here, it levels the playing field with natural gas. Fact is, uh, the Obama administration had its boot on top of the throat of, of the industry. That boot has been removed. But energy analysts say Trump's rollback will be felt most on the East Coast. What do you think the impact is going to be here in Colorado? So it's going to be very, very, very minimal. Um, I think that, you know, the, the coal generation here is already very cheap, so it's already competitive to natural gas. In Colorado, more than half of your electricity is generated by coal. For years now, though, the industry has been struggling. Under new state regulations, coal-fired power plants in the Denver metro have either been decommissioned or converted to natural gas. And Excel Energy recently announced plans to invest more in wind. While many miners agree Trump's executive order won't bring coal back from the brink, they believe it's a start. Analysts tell us in the long term if the U.S. starts shipping natural gas overseas and prices go up, coal could be more competitive nationally again, especially if Trump removes the penalties on emissions. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7.